Now that we've got the gold valve system in, we put our seals on, put a little bit of juice on here. This is the inner slide bushing. This one he took off with the screwdriver, goes right back on the bottom. The first one came off of. We want to make sure the Teflon is on the outside. So you know that that's the correct one for that. Now we want to put our seals on. So to do that, slide this tube into here. Should have a nice good fit. Yeah. You feel that right there, just like that. Nice. Okay, now we have to put the rest of the seals on to do that. Lube them up a little bit. You go in the order of the inner slide ring, the metal O-ring, the oil seal, followed by the snap ring, followed by the dust ring. The dust seal, sorry. When you put them in, there's a small little groove in there that the snap ring is going to go in. So you'll know if you're in the right distance. Slide them on one by one. You have a slide hammer type deal like this. Goes over the tube here, pops them into the hole. You'll see there's a little groove in there. You get your finger in there almost. That's where the seals are going to be sitting. So you don't mess up your seals. Old little trick these people like to do. You take a piece of blag, stick it over the seal, put a little lube on it, slide your seals over that, and this won't chew nothing. I'm going to go ahead and do that. All right, now that we've got the bottom washer on, we're going to need to put the oil in and set the oil level. Now, according to the Honda manual, the oil level for the front fork is, factory spec is 145 millimeters or 5.7 inches. I use 5.5 inches, a little bit more oil in the tube, but that'll help bottom ring resistance. Probably not very much though. Okay, so I know from measuring from here to this little lip that's 5.5 inches for me so it's convenient pour oil in use this just like a chip dip use this just like a dipstick in your motor stick it right in pull it out look at the measurement fill or decrease as necessary Fill it up. I like to put a whole can of 16 fluid ounces in. Because I know that it's more than 16 ounces is going to take to fill this up. It'll look like it starts filling up, but it won't. Go through some strokes with it. Get the oil flowing around in there. You're bubbling around. Very scientific. Okay, now that I've got a full 16 ounces in there, 
Should be enough to prime this thing. Just kind of run it through a couple strokes. Put out the center piece. Now, when you pull this up, to know that it's working, you should start to feel some resistance and eventually, oh, there we go, should get oil coming out. That oil should come out all the way, see, should come out all the way to the top of the stroke. So just keep doing this till oil comes out all the way to the top. So after setting the oil level, we can now put the spring in. So it simply goes And like so, after installing the spring, you got to measure preload. What you do is you extend the fork tube all the way, measure from the top of the spring up here, measure the length of your top cap where it seats, subtract the two, and that's your preload. So if this is one inch long, this measurement is a half an inch. Subtracted, you have a half an inch of preload. I'm using Progressive Springs from Ibec. Says the recommended spring preload for these springs is 0.125 to 0.375. I'm going to use a quarter inch preload, 0.25. I know that this measure, this washer along with the factory washer, which you want to reuse. Stack together, provide me with the correct spring preload. So, now, right after measuring the spring preload, we now have to attach the fork cap to the piston rod. Piston rod is down in here. I just like to use a magnet. Stick it down in there. very carefully and slowly bring up the fork piston. If you go too fast, it'll shoot fluid all over you. Just take your time, no rush. Just like that. All right. Take a nice clean Fork cap, screw it on. All right. Oop. You know what we forgot to do? We got to take the stock retainer or the stock washer, put that on top, followed by my preload spacer. Okay, put the center cap or the fork cap back on. Now we need to set this to 14 foot. Simple, this is a 14 millimeter wrench. Easy to remember, 14 millimeter, 14 foot pounds. Alright, so we just simply go 14 foot pounds. That's done. Okay. Alright. So now we want to ins 
install the fork cap onto the fork tube. Once again, get your thread lock. Just a small amount on there. It's all you need. You don't need a lot. So, screw this on, you need to torque it down, you can put it back into the, the clamps on the bike, the tree clamps on the bike, and torque it down. I just stick it in a vise with some cardboard on the sides, torque it down, that way I have easy access to putting everything else back on. The torque value is 17 foot-pounds. All right, after stolen the fork cap, once again, make sure there's no air in the system. You say, how can air get in there? Well, you were screwing in it in and it has that O-ring on there. Then, on the bottom, there's the adjuster for the screw. Simply screw that all the way in, back it out as where you want it to be, and that's it, you're done.